We are mortal. And on this day, if no other, we stand still and pay attention. And with words of hope and promise, we are reminded once more that the pain is not all there is. That in Jesus, there is forgiveness and there is healing. This could be something of what the prophet Joel was getting at when he spoke on God's behalf to the people of Israel so long ago. This pain, this weeping and mourning that he vividly described is a result of acknowledging that pain as we return to God. The rending of the heart he calls for here is the act of standing still in the pain and returning to God with it and within it. In our grief, in our broken open hearts, we claim responsibility for the pain and express deep yearning for it to be different. First, between us and God, and then also between one another. So yes, there is pain to be stood in on this day, but it is also a day when healing begins and the promise is ours that our pain will one day be behind us as we stand still in God's steadfast love and mercy. Let us pray. Holy One, you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Rend our hearts always to be open to your love. Heal us and give us peace. Amen. I invite you to rise for our Lenten litany. During Lent, we wander as though through a darkness. We come face to face with our sin. Yet we are never alone. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Look toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to count them. The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. So now I bring the first of the fruit to the ground. O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. The 40 days of Lent are a journey with promise. Let us pray for God's mercy. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penitence, penitence, reminding us that only by the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ are we given eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated. When you come forward, I am using COVID sanitary precautions this year. Um, I will make the sign of the cross with the ash on your forehead with this. Set it aside, pick up a new one for the next person. Um, so we'll start over here with the choir. And, um, and there are the hymns that you may sing 
while people receive their ashes. Remember you were dust, and to dust you shall return.
work of your salvation. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Savior. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Drawn close to the heart of God, we offer these prayers for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Renew your church, O God. When we have drifted from our call to proclaim repentance and to guide your people toward justice, lead us back to you. Encourage believers who hold the church's doors open to those who have felt excluded. Merciful God, renew your creation, O God. Transform parched places into watered gardens and preserve every creature that awaits the arrival of spring. Merciful God, our renew our civic life, O God. Teach those in authority to advocate for the liberation of all who are oppressed and grant them courage to make difficult decisions. Merciful God, our renew our lives, O God. Spare your people from diseases of the body, mind, or spirit and send healing to those overcome by illness or grief. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. Merciful God, renew this congregation, O God. During these 40 days of Lent, confirm our sense of mission and expand our imagination for ministry. Deepen our faith, increase our love, and draw us into your unfolding work of healing and restoration. Merciful God, accept the prayers we bring, O God, on behalf of a world in need for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please share a sign of that peace with one another. Let us pray. Extravagant God, you have blessed us with the fullness of creation. Now we gather at your feast where you offer us the food that satisfies. Take and use what we offer here. Come among us and feed us with the body and blood of Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you. To the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. You call your people to cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast that renewed in the gift of baptism, we may come to the fullness of your grace. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name 
and join their unending hymn. are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us and send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. With your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Here is food and drink for the journey. Take and be filled. You may be seated. Except you, you have a job. We're going to do the choir first and then we'll move over. Okay.
eat and drink, for this is the body and blood of Christ. And now may the body and blood of Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. <laughs> Blessed Jesus, in this rich meal of grace, you have fed us with your body, the bread of life. Now send us forth to bear your life-giving hope to a world in need. Amen. You are children with God, anointed with the oil of gladness and strengthened for the journey. Almighty God, motherly, majestic, and mighty, bless you this day and always. Jesus meets you on the way. Thanks be to God.